follow the live score. It really is a must for a Babington fan. Well, after that, that thrilling women's doubles, uh, we turn our attention to mixed doubles. And it's an all-Korean affair. So Young Jae and Chae Yoo Jung, the two, the two left-handers, up against the beaten finalists from last week, Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung. Well, as far as the mixed doubles draw is concerned, you can see by quarter-final stage, two pairs from Japan, two from Korea, two from Thailand. And this match from the bottom half of the draw and the 2019 winners Ching Shi Wei and Wang Yashiong awaits the winner of this second semi-final. The two left-handers Saw Siang Jae and Chae Yu Jung announced into the arena first of all and they had a wonderful win in the quarter-final Last match on late last night uh, beat the former world champions Puavara Nukro and Teirak Tanachai. Uh, my goodness me, I thought they were playing well. And let's hear it for their opponents also from Korea. Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Yong. Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung. Well, they had a fabulous run in Mulheim last week, reaching the final of the German Open when they lost to Feng Yang Xie and Huang Dongping, the Olympic champion. Kim Wan Ho leads them out. He's the son of a three-time All England champion, Gil Yang Ah. She won the women's doubles three consecutive years here. And I've been checking the record books. I think he could potentially become the first child of an All England champion to win a All England title himself. Well, this will be a fourth meeting, I can tell you, between these two pairs. And all three previous encounters have been won by the two left-handers, Saw so Siang Jae and Chae Yoo Jung. Last time they met was the only time it's gone to three games. 22-20 in the deciding game in the semi-final of the Thailand Masters 300 earlier this year. And from which side? So again, I believe that Kim and Jong won the toss of the coin and chose to receive. In the final awaits. When there's a definite drift in the arena, I really do find that a little odd. But here is Source Young Jay, he's 25 years of age from Jongju. And he and his partner went up one place in the world ranking, published earlier this week to number nine. But as you can see, they have been as high as five, and that was for seven consecutive weeks from the 2nd of February 2021. Won the Australian Open, the last of the World Tour events before the World Tour Finals last year. I did this a Korean pair, Che Yoo Jung is 27 from Busan, right in the south of South Korea. And they were in the final of the Thailand Masters because, as you saw, they beat their opponents of today in the semi-final. Number seven seeds in the first round, Go Sun Kwak and Siobhan Jamie Lai. And that was two straight games, but that quarter-final, that was the big match, uh, beating the 2020 All England beaten finalists and former world champions, 21-14 in the deciding game. That was Pua Varanukro and Teirat Tanajai. Kim Won Ho is 23 from Suwon. And he and his partner, after reaching the final of the German Open last week, went up to a career high, went up two places from their previous career high to number 12, a new career high for them. Jong Na Ung is from the South Korean capital city, Seoul, 22 years of age, 167, that equates to just under five foot six. And are they ready to play? Have been in two World Tour tournament finals, both at 300 level, 
Vietnam lost both finals. Had a thrilling first round match against the two left-handers from England, Mayers and Moore. Came from 5-14 down in the deciding game before winning. And then it was the defending champions who sadly had to retire, injured. Horrible injury to Watanabe. And in the quarterfinal yesterday, Kim and Jong beat Robin Tarbelin and Selina Peak from the Netherlands in two straight games. So our court officials, Alan Crow from England and the service judges also from England, Alan Potter. Che Yun Jung, ready. Just making sure those laces are really tight to the start of the match. You don't want your foot slipping inside your shoes because that's when ankles go Ladies rolling over. Ladies and gentlemen, over. on my right, Sion Song Jie and Che Young Jung, Korea. <laughs> and on my left, King Won Ho and Sion Nan Yu, Korea. Che Young Jung to serve to Jung Nan Yun. Love all. Play. So both Korean pairs unseeded. The two left handers, Suo Seung Jae and Che Yu Jung, far side of the court as we look down. Chris, I, I know you weren't calling the quarterfinal last night Seven because I was calling it with Steen when the two left-handers were playing. I don't know whether you caught any of it, but I felt that Saw Siang Jae, he was playing so well. He's such a, a clever, tactical player. I thought he was absolutely outstanding. There's another tactical. He smashed in exactly the right place. No, I'd agree with you, I'd say I've, I've been fortunate to watch him a few times this tournament and I've thought he's played brilliant. And for me, I, I do think, you know, the ranking he's at, it's not a real ranking of nine. Uh, he, for me, he definitely should be ranked at least the fifth pair, but the way he's played this tournament so far, he has played incredible. And I would say if he keeps this up, he's going he's gonna to make things very, very difficult for the other Koreans. Well, no pair from Korea has won the All England Mixed Doubles title during the Super Series and World Tour era. Well, we're guaranteed a, a Korean pair in the final tomorrow, and that'll be the first time for 14 years since Go Sung Hyung and Ha Jong Ung reached the final in 2009. Oh, there's perfect placement again. I do think normally you do have slightly peculiar games when two nations, uh, two players from the same nation play each other because you know each other's games inside out and each time they've played each other it's been closer and closer but if uh, Sio keeps his game up like this and continues as, you know, as, as, as well as we've seen him in the tournament I think it's going to be so tough to beat. Yeah. I've seen of Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung. Uh, they play more of a level doubles style of play. The traditional way of uh, playing mixed doubles is to use both players' real strengths, and of course, men are physically stronger than women. And therefore, you want the man at the back of the court using his power. And women tend to be more agile, more flexible than men, and therefore they can twist and turn a little quicker at the front of the court. So. Normally, the traditional way, as indeed the two left-handers play, is very much with Chia Yu Jung 
wanting to go forward. But I think their opponents uh, play far more sort of like a level doubles. Yeah, and that's why the woman's role in mixed doubles is so important. Because it's more often, I would say, in the rallies that winners are hit from the front of the court. Because all the players oh. have got such good defences now. Very rare you get a winner from the back. Even with them, the power of a man hitting down. Hey. Oh, that's oh. way. What was he thinking? Three. Six. I'm just showing to everyone that he is human. We've just been bigging him up so much and making him <laughs> making him sound so good. But I do think I do think you're totally right with the style that both pairs play very different from one another. Um, and I do think um, that Kim Won Ho he can afford to go forward because his partner is also phenomenal at ladies doubles. He's got the confidence that she can cover him at the back and he can take those risks. He's a great Seven, men's doubles player at the net Seven, as well. Three. Yeah, that's a good point. Super smash from Kim Won Ho. is on the two left-handers though isn't it Chris I mean they're the higher ranked pair they've had better results internationally and they will be feeling that they should be winning yeah I would 100% agree and I'd say uh, the other the two right-handers you know the the up-and-coming pair let's say and last week they showed you know they're phenomenal and they've they've had some great wins here and they're playing to such a good level so this is why I do think it's going to be a slightly peculiar game compared to maybe on paper well, Kim Won Ho rushed forward to try and anticipate a drop shot there. Oh. Just wide. Yeah, Kim Won Ho at the net again. Yeah, I totally agree. He's chasing forward a lot for a, for a male player in mix. I mean, look, he's, he's hunting the net. But it's because he has the confidence that his partner, if it goes over, she can cover him. Um, it, is a, it is a risk because if they get caught, they could be in trouble. But, he's, I mean, he's reading it incredibly well. Yeah, she put that away with venom. Yeah, she did brilliant, brilliant interception, and she just keeps the pressure on and just traps, just traps her opponent there, and then it just gets easier and easier until it's a comfortable put away. Oh yes, he moved well to play that with the round the head shot rather than being forced to play the backhand. And it is the two left-handers, Suo Siang Jae and Chia Yu Jung, who have a five-point advantage here at the game interval of the opening game. Now, the Korean staff, coaching staff, have left the two pairs to their own devices. 
and that's only right and proper. I don't want to show any bias towards one pair. Uh, the players left to seconds. figure it all out for themselves. Seconds. Yeah, I do agree with you, Joe. I do think when two two nations are playing each other as in players from the same nation, I do agree, and I do think coaches shouldn't intervene totally for that reason. The only country I think that does it is Thailand. 11-6. Play. So eleven six. Look, he's been moved from side to side. Something that I do really like about um, so CS and J is seven, when he's at the back, he's, he's really happy to be patient and work the rally and hit drop shots and make his opponents move because he's got a big smash. But if he just hits the big smash, what? it's comfortable because um, Kim Won Ho's got an incredible defense for him to just be able to outmaneuver him. Ah! Mm, had a little think about it. Fell over. back her side. 12, seven. But again, this lift, I don't know if we're going to get to see it, that really high lift, it was a bit short, but when you do an incredibly high lift, the shuttle is obviously dropping, you know, vertically, and it's what? much harder to strike the shuttle clean than when it's travelling at a more of a diagonal angle. Hey. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Good return of serve. And good follow-up to that. Over. Just showing how good he is at the net. So well. confident. Aggressive return, as you said, Jill, and then easy put away. Service so over. 13 8. The rallies, have, in my opinion, have been the initiative and the command of the rallies has very much been in favour of the two left-handers so far, hasn't it? I would, I, I would agree, yeah. Yeah, I think the pair nearest to us, Kim and Jong, you see they're on the defensive game. That's better. Counter-attack. And this is the thing that's really interesting, going back to the point you said about so the amount of Nine, times that Kim Won Ho has got forward in this kind of position, I mean, more than his mixed partner, Jung, which is very unique because there's not many other pairs in the world that this would happen to. But I think it's he's more than happy to chase forward because he knows that she's going to cover him. I guess the only other pair that I can think of that's slightly that's slimmer, similar, 14, but not as nine. pronounced as this Korean pair with the man going forward is Puevra Nukro and Tevrat Tanachai. Dichapon very happy to go forward some of the time. As I say, it's not as pronounced as this pair in, in the all black kit. Oh, yeah, I would agree with you though. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, they're very comfortable the other way around because both players are great in the other position. I would say Kim Won Ho in going forward, he's probably the boldest out of maybe any yes, of the men at the moment. I, I agree, definitely. Oh, good defence. That drive defence from Saucy on Jay. Oh, that's gone wide. It was a nice idea. I can see what he was trying to do. So it's over. 10. 14. I do think it is amazing. I know we keep talking about it. It's amazing how many times we see Kim Won Ho at the net. I think he's been at the net more than he's been at the back in this I, match. I, I can well believe it. Oh, that short. Oh. It goes down as a service error. 15, 10. Oh, that's a great 
smash towards the right hip of the right-hander. Ideal positioning of the smash. There's that slight moment of indecision. Do I defend it backhand or do I defend it forehand? Also, when it's that wide, it's so hard to cross that one. So normally you have to keep it straight, and if you do, it's just going to go to a forehand. Yeah, the forehand of the left-hander. The other strange thing is, at the moment, these two pairs in Korea are uh, by far the, the best mixed doubles pairs. So the amount of training they do with each other obviously would be a lot. Basically, they just train together when they did mixed. And it's so strange to obviously your training opponent to be playing each other in the All England semi-final. It often has such a weird sort of tinge to it, as it were. Oh, that's brilliant. What a super shot from Fionda on... So it's all that 11, 17. Perfect. Interception from Jay you do it. So it's over eighteen eleven. the front service 12, line as well. 18. Yeah, good third shot from Jong Na Ung. 13, 18. Super drop. Good rally. Oh, super again. Well, in the last half a dozen rallies, that's uh, basically a second winner. On Tiong Na Ung. I know it wasn't an outright winner, but it set up the rally, no question. That half smash straight down the line in the longest rally of the match so far at 39 shots. That's the big reason why Kim Wan Ho can chase forward because she is so confident at the back. Long. What a brilliant rally. I have to say, so Young's well. defence, she Thank has got you. such a good defence because she's making CO smash look average. He hits it very hard. 
and she's dealing with it absolutely fine. To be honest, I don't know if she's she's struggled with it at all. I don't know if she's... I think she's got every single smash he's hit at her back. Yeah, it's remarkable, isn't it? Well, these rallies getting longer and longer, and that was 47 shots. Two points away from the opening game, though, for Seo Sung Jae and Che Yu Jung. Good flick. What an excellent flick serve. Oh, what a lovely way to bring up game point opportunities. 20, game point 14. Yeah, he was on the move to attack the low serve. Oh, opening game. To Su Xiang Jae and Che Yu Jung, the two left-handers. First game, 21-14. Xiang Jae and Che Yu Jung, 21-14. over the net not giving their opponents any chance to attack so 21 14 in 19 minutes Second game, love all, play. Well, that was a very, very good opening game by Saucy on Jay and Che Yu Jung. The two left-handers. Now, what can Kim Won Ho and Jung Na Ung do in response? Oh, that's right in the back corner. Service over, one. Love. There's that solid defence that you were telling us about, Chris. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yes, incredible how well she's defended in this match so far. Hey! Hey! Oh, well, there you go, the curse of the commentator. Every time, every time. <laughs> <I see laughs> <you. It's> over. <laughs> One, four. The pair wanting to lift the shuttle. Two, one. Flat pushes. steps in here Three, and takes that so early four. and because he's taking it that early he's got all the options so when your opponent takes it that early you have to take the step back because they can hit hard they can oh. go over you they can go in front of you
And oh, that's loose. Uh, not only was it loose, I think it was the wrong choice of shot anyway. Trying to go cross court on that. That backhand. Terms over. Four, two. say Che she almost goes a bit unnoticed because she doesn't have a lot to do because of the way they play mix but what she has done so far she's done really well she's been solid she's been aggressive on the net she hasn't made many unforced errors Sorry, I'm, I'm going to get players coming up to me after this and say, Chris, just please don't talk. <laughs> just don't say anything about me. Yeah, but I agree with you. I think she's she's played a very solid match so far. Look. Going wide. Yeah, well intercepted. Decisive move at the end of a really good rally. I have to say, something that all four players have done so well this game is find the gap, which is obviously something that's very difficult to do, but almost every shot is where the hitting into the space. I think that's why we've had such a good game so far. Oh, he's made another misjudgment. He hasn't really got his spatial awareness of where the court is. What's that? Three or four he's left that have been way in. Strange thing is here, he's, he's obviously very, very confident because he, you know, he's, he's almost there before the shuttle's there. But sometimes when, you have, when you're a bit nervous, it's one of the first things that goes. Not your decision making Dis or your spatial awareness. Both, Six. both. Yeah. Because at, when you're at, if you're below the tape, you get nervous, you get edgy, and maybe you're not calm enough to do the high lift and also your spatial awareness. You, you think you're really deep in court, whereas, you, you know, you may be nowhere near. And I'm surprised the two, the two that I really remember quite, quite a long way in, both of them. Yeah. So it's over. Well, there's definitely Six. a couple in the opening oh. game, if not more. Six all. Oh, that's a clever smash. Seven. But Jong Na Ung, perhaps guilty of waiting a little too committed to the forehand defence. Look, as she's waiting, there, she's on the forehand defence and therefore very vulnerable for that one that's hit towards her left hip. Oh, he tried to do it again there as well. I definitely, definitely agree with you there, Jill. You're spot on. Eight, She's got to be six. so careful that She's standing on the cross, but just on the forehand. If he takes a little bit of power off but finds her backhand, she's going to really struggle. And I think this is even why that goes out, because she almost 
it, you know, it's just in the armpit at the right, and she almost gets a bit trapped and swings at it with too much power. Oh, that's a big miss from Kim Won Ho. Nine, six. Yeah, that was a golden opportunity. Uh, this is this is a very good response, I have to say, Chris, because Ten, you know they were five six. two up and then they went six five down and since been five six down, five straight points, ten six, and they look to be very much in control again. Yeah, I'd agree, and that's a big run, and it's just going back to the attack, that smash. The reason it's so dangerous is because he does have the variation. He's not just hit hard yeah. the whole time. Yeah, good point. Six. Well, interval. it's a run of six straight points to go to the mid game interval with a five point advantage. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. It's a really good crowd in here this afternoon. Fantastic. Eleven six. Blair. Well, it's Good. now or never, I think, for this pet. Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung. Oh. Service oh, over. She's semi, very competent at the front of the court. I don't know why she doesn't go there more often. Yeah, it's a brilliant inception. Choice of shot again from Su Young Jay. Cross court clear. Eight, really invited the straight smash on his partner, and she was left in no man's land. Game into Nine, came at the right time 11. for Source Young Jay and Chair Yu Jung. I think they were on a bit of a roll and they needed to keep that momentum going. Yeah, I definitely agree. And I'd say since since the break, it's it's looked like um, Kim and Jung have, have kind of come alive again. Yeah. <laughs> Playing the more traditional formation and it's working for them. Ten. 11. Oh, yes. My goodness, he was quick there, Kim Won Ho. 11. Oh, quickly. So five straight points now to Kim and Jong. It's such a swing of momentum because before that, as you identified, Joe, it was a fantastic run by Che and Sia, and now it's just been matched by their counterparts. Hey! Yeah. And in fact, 12, into the lead. 11. A run of six straight points. 
And that's where Kim Won Ho, when he gets forward and he pressurizes the girl, it's so hard for them to get away from him because he's such a good net player. Oh, my goodness me, what on earth happened there? Yeah, it's whenever I say anything nice about anyone, the next rally seems to... He completely missed it. Yeah. I think he was probably thinking about the next shot, took his eye off it for a fraction of a second. Oh, got in each other's way. Yeah, that's a good smash straight down the line. Yeah, it's phenomenal 12. placement here because she look, she's so trapped. She's taking it so wide of where her position is. She needs to get a little bit more down the line in that situation to yeah. really cover the line. That could have been nasty, you know, that clash. He did amazingly well to get the first one back, Saucy Young Jake. Look how low he takes that one. Yeah, I have no idea how he got that. I think no. he surprised himself. Yeah, it was the shot before, it was just too soft and floaty. He needs to put just a little bit about five to ten percent more power on it and then it won't sort of hold up at the net as it did so it won't be as easy to kill it's the right shot it's the right shot but it just doesn't have to be as perfect in the corner as that level once more service over 15, 14. There's the smash across the body again. 16. And once again, 14. she's getting caught because she's committed to that forehand defence, Jong Na Ong. Yeah, 100%. And the other thing is when she if by some miracle she actually gets it, she, she's going to really struggle to control it and put it where she wants to put it. Yeah, drive serve to start the rally. 17, 14. Good variation. Yep. Service over. I do really like 15, that shot from um, Kim Won Ho when he just pushes it between the two players. That. Because yes. then he opens them up. It's a clever shot. Yeah, it's a shot that's used an awful lot in doubles and especially mixed doubles. Oh, big, big gap. They got in each other's way. Sixteen, seventeen. And it really is the, the Korean style of move. They're so good at moving the shuttle around. Making the court big is the way I'd describe it because they use every aspect of the court um, to make their opponents really stretch and move. Yeah. Well played. Oh. <coughs> For a 
a seventh time in this <laughs> second game. It's all level. Oh, my so goodness me. 18, 17. What a time to serve your first service error of the match. Yeah, that could be costly. They were just on a little comeback then. Maybe just rushed it slightly, thinking about the third shot. Kim and Jong have over. sort of cut Chair Yu Jong out of the game more in this second game. She's not been hovering round the net. She's not been able to make the sort of interceptions that she was doing in the opening game. Yeah, and I think now she's, she looks like she's just getting a bit tense and forcing it a little bit. And it could well be because she hasn't really done much, as in she hasn't had much of the shuttle. Yeah. It's a great attack. It can almost be one of the most awkward things when you're in the net. When you don't have much of the shuttle, you then try and intervene when it's not really yours and you make the wrong choice because you, yeah, you start to think, well, 19, I'm not doing anything. 18. You know, I need to hit the shuttle. But the integral thing is you've got to make the right choice incredibly quickly. Well taken. Oh, brilliant. Fabulous rally. So it's over. 19 all. This one here, that cross court, that's the wrong shot because he opens himself up. Uh, well, he opens the partnership up there. He's got to keep that one straight for me or go high across. So is it going to be a match point or a game point? <laughs> well, left, it's going to be a game point. An opportunity for Tim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung to send this to a third and deciding game. We have to say as well, what a comeback, considering at the break, it looked like um, the two left hands are in full momentum. That's well saved. Great placement, going for that right hip again. Just here, just outside, that's, it. that's great placement. So if she can get that back, there's not really much she's going to be able to do with it. So extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Mm, she was waiting backhand that time. She did well. Backhand defence. Oh, that's a beauty. What a super shot. That's why Sio is so dangerous overhead, because he has that. He's got he's got everything overhead. He's not just got the big smash, he's got the variation, and that's play to perfection. Yeah. So having just saved a game point opportunity, now Su Young Jae and Che Yu Jung have a match point opportunity. Oh, that was game wide. In that rally, Kim Won-ho got two shots back that were, yeah, as you say, incredible. That's, I don't know how he's got that back. No, and he gets it back with interest. Look, he's driving the shuttle, he gets the net cord. 
flat over the net and forces the error. No one wants to lift here. And that's why. Yeah, that's why. Second game point opportunity for Kim and, and John to take this to a deciding game. You often see that when you feel like you should have won, you know, the rally before the left handers, they were dominating the rally and they should have put it away and it almost got snatched beneath them. Everywhere he's taking every shot. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. That is fabulous. That is incredible. What a pleasure to be able to watch this. Well, longest rally of the match by some considerable margin. That was extraordinary and brilliant. And it's the intensity of the rally as well. Sometimes you can have a, say, a 70 shot rally, but you know, it's a big, slow rally. That was not, you know, that was full, full kind of effort, energy, everything. Full out attack, incredible rally. And look at the reaction of Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung at the end of the rally. <laughs> that hurt. Yeah, crowd loving it. Who wouldn't? Oh, that's right. I think CEO thinks they're the wrong way round. But the umpire seems to disagree. Oh. 22 all. That's a big, big miss by Kim Won Ho. If you think the rally before, he was pretty much Superman, and you know he was covering the whole court. 22. And that's probably the easiest shot he's had in sort of five or six rallies. Sometimes that's the way, though. So for a second time, it's a match point opportunity for Seo and Jae. Oh, good defence she's learned from that. They collided rackets. I think his racket went, as in the frame broke. He's just gone to swap rackets. The the level that they're all playing out there is it is incredible. It really is. This is pretty much as good as it gets, well, unless you and me Joe enter the court.
Sian Chung Yong play. Oh, that was quick. It wasn't just quick. As far as moving her so feet was concerned, 24, quick thought process. She thought that it was going to come back to the net, and she took the chance and rushed oh, forward. Yeah, that was brilliant. Great vision. Third match point opportunity. This is just extraordinary. Service over. 24. All. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is just getting better and better. 25. Third 24. opportunity now for Kim and Jong to level this semi-final at one game apiece. shot from Shay. It, it looks easy but it's actually not because sometimes when you see the space the obvious space you try and play it so tight that you miss we actually saw that earlier in the men's doubles a very very similar situation the Liang from China just missed it but she did phenomenal there to keep her concentration oh, my goodness, she did well to reach that That's a sign of fatigue to me. That's a couple of blocks in the last few rallies that Source Young Jay over. has played into the 26, net. 26, 25. Fourth game point opportunity to send this to the decider. Oh, my goodness. Service over, 26, all. Well... Twenty-seven, twenty-six. Well, I make that the fourth opportunity now points. to close out the match. throws his racket in the air. Absolute delight. A relief, I think, as much as delight, in all honesty. 28-26, the second game, an absolute thriller. What a fabulous match. 53 minutes. And Su Sian Jay and Chia Yu Jung through to the All England Mixed Doubles final. First Koreans in the final for 14 years in the Mixed Doubles discipline.
Well, it was quite fitting in a way that it was his disguised drop shot. Chris has been pointing out his change of pace and the ability to not just hit hard. There goes the racket. Che Yu Jung is delirious with delight. Look at that. Absolute joy. What a good match. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-14, 28-26 in 53 minutes. Two thrilling matches, as though both won in two straight games. Our third match in this evening's session is women's singles, and it's Tai Su Ying, the three-time former champion, against last year's beaten finalist, Annie Se Young. Well, when you look at the semi-final stage, isn't that lovely? The top four seeds, four different nations, and the same four players in the semi-final stage as last year. All four players in the semi-final have contested an all-in 